the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 99, 1 Samuel 25 to 26, Psalm 54. The reason God put 3,000 men to sleep. Saul kept chasing David when one day God made Saul sleep so that he could test David. But David made the choice of faith by sparing Saul's life again. First point. The Israel relation divided into two in terms of their opinions on David. During the ten years, David was learning away from Saul. The people of Israel started to form their opinions about him. At first, David was a national hero who saved them from Goliath and the Philistines. But after Saul's twisted politics, to some people, David became a learning fugitive, as can be seen through Nabal's words. However, as time passed, people started to form different opinions. When the people saw that David came to save Kayla, even in the midst of learning away, those who misunderstood him began to change their minds. But to some, David was still a figure of a threat. We can see the polar opposites through Abigail and Nabal when it came to David and how he was perceived. Second point, during his days of learning away, David came across Doeg, Nabal, and also countless others. During the ten years of learning away from Saul, David met countless people, including Doeg, Nabal, and countless others. The case of Nabal truly shows how Saul's politics did indeed have an impact on some people. Nabal was a rich man, and it came time for him to share his ship. When David heard of this, he asked politely for payment for his part of the work in tending the flock. David sent a messenger to Nabal to ask for some food in return for protecting Nabal's property. But Nabal rebuked David instead. He looked down on David, who had saved the country from Goliath and who used to be a commander of the National Army. Nabal only considered that David was a runaway. David therefore tried to kill Nabal. Third point, David met Abigail during his days of learning away. When Abigail heard that David was extremely angry with her husband Nabal, she appeared before him and calmed him down. When the Lord has fulfilled for my Lord every good thing he promised concerning him and has appointed him Rule of Israel, my Lord will not have on his conscience the staggering burden of needless bloodshed or of having avenged himself. And when the Lord your God has brought my Lord success, remember your servant. Abigail told David not to let things get in his way in the long term and that he was going to end up king anyway. Her wise words soothed David in that he would not have to be responsible for killing people out of personal anger during his fugitive days. David listened to her and expressed thanks. Some time later, Nabal died, and David took Abigail as his wife. Fourth point, the people once again reported David to Saul. It became a norm for the people to report David to Saul if they saw him. 
After the instance with Nabal, the people once again reported David to Saul. This was the second time the people of Judah reported David. So Saul and his 3,000 men once again came to kill David. Saul seduced the people by saying that anyone who reported would be given high-ranking positions and property and that anyone who hid David would be killed like the 85 priests. Such threats meant that the people had better little choice but to report David if they saw him. Fifth point, God made the souls 3,000 men fall asleep and then tested David. He came to the last meeting between David and Saul. God used this opportunity to test David. God made Saul and his men fall into a deep sleep. It was the perfect opportunity for David to kill Saul. This would not have been a possible scenario if God had not made it for David. This was indeed God's test. But David did not kill Saul and respected that God had appointed Saul. God would have been extremely pleased by this. Although Saul apologized to David, he tried to kill him again. So David had to run away to Philistia. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.